What's up everyone, it's Grim here, Grim Gaming UK, and today, don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but FPS General, uh, a couple of days ago, did a things that Battlefield 4 had to have to make it successful. Now, I know what you're thinking, Grim, you kind of don't do Battlefield stuff, and this is true, but based on that article, they have now done another one saying things that new Call of Duty has to have to be a success. Now, I will put a link to the forum or the the post they've done on FPS General, uh, so you guys can look at it yourself, read through it, see what you think. I'm kind of bringing it up because it's a good topic of conversation. I read through it, I thought there's some good points in there, some stuff I wasn't entirely sure about, and I thought, fuck it, I'll do a video on it and talk to you guys. You can leave a comment, tell me what you think. So. Let's get straight into this. Now the first thing, and probably the most obvious um, to anyone that's played any of the Call of Duties, and sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking, it's uh, having a mind of its own at the moment. Yeah, the most important thing for Call of Duty is balanced multiplayer. Now, granted I know that Infinity Ward games tend to have Spec Ops, um, uh, you know, Treyarch tend to have their Zombies, and obviously they both have a single player game. That's all great. But primarily Call of Duty is a multiplayer experience. That's why we all play it. You know. Yeah, we touch upon zombies. And I know before people shout, there are some dedicated zombie players out there and some guys that, you know, no doubt were really dedicated to spec ops. But primarily in the percentages, it's the multiplayer that grabs people. That's what they want to play. So they're going to need to focus on really strong, really balanced multiplayer from the get-go. Now, as it says in the article, and we all are fully aware of this, in a multiplayer game, there are going to be patches. And I fully expect that, you know, day one, day two, day three, there'll be a patch. I have no doubt about that at all, because, you know, the world of the internet being what it is, these things happen. You, know, you suddenly realise that everybody's running this one particular class or that this one gun is ridiculously overpowered when you put it in a multiplayer setting or that this death streak or that this or this or this or this or this or whatever is unbalanced and not working the way you intended. Now, the slightly worrying thing about this is Infinity Ward do not have the best um, reputation, shall we say, for patching and maintaining their product. Now nobody will say Modern Warfare 3 was different but don't forget that primarily Sledgehammer were in charge of patching and dealing with the multiplayer side of it and they're not there now. Sledgehammer are put to the side, they are dealing with other projects on their own so they won't be there. Now granted you can almost argue that this is the first Call of Duty that Infinity Ward have done since COD 4 that has kind of had them as a whole studio again because obviously bear in mind that they did COD 4 a phenomenal game World of War came out, Treyarch then you had Modern Warfare 2 which was you know, a whole studio but then the studio collapsed, people left you know the whole studio collapsed so the, the focus that potentially Modern Warfare 2 should have had with the patching wasn't there because just the studio was falling apart, you know, the, the creative guys were leaving and it was just complete clusterfuck. So it never got never got the love it should have got with the patching of, you know, the care package glitch and you know, javelin glitches and what have you. So it never got that love. So then you had Black Ops, obviously another Treyarch one. Modern Warfare 3 was made by um, a whole host of studios because still Infinity Ward was too weak to develop it on their own. And now we had Black Ops 2, Treyarch again. Now you've got Call of Duty Ghosts. And fingers crossed, as we all know, Infinity Ward have now rebuilt themselves. If you guys uh, ever have a look at Charlie Intel, they've got a whole brand new um, office 
that they've got you know built. So they're a rebuilt studio now. They're back together, back on uh, back on even keel. So this is their first Call of Duty since COD 4. Granted, without the creative genius, kind of that added a lot to COD 4, but still, this is this is the benchmark we need to judge them on. Not Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2. This is the new one. Um, I would like to see a bit of common sense with the guns. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, I so hope snipers aren't in it, or I so hope this or that or whatever is in it. I do hope snipers are in it because we all have that, you know, we all like watching really, really, really good snipers doing amazingly well. I don't deny that, but I would like to see them more balanced. Or, I hate to say, it, I'd like to see Juggernaut put in, which was the counter to two hit, or sorry, to one hit weapons. But, obviously, you put Juggernaut in, you're kind of wanting stopping power, because stopping power is the counterbalance to Juggernaut, you have to take the risk-reward. So, it's difficult. Again, this is all comes back down to balanced multiplayer, and it would be great to see a beta. It won't happen. But I really don't want Infinity Ward to be going to guys like, you know, going to YouTubers, like Treyarch did, and asking them their opinion, or going to like fucking optic or whoever and asking them their opinion because at the end of the day they're a very small niche now love them or hate them youtubers want easy gameplay so they don't play against the toughest guys and guys like my dog's going mad in the background and guys like optic well their focus is competitive and stuff that doesn't work stuff that's imbalanced is taken out of competitive you know tack inserts are gone there's a lot of things that are taken out to make their world more competitive. So, why are they the best people to ask about gun balance? The people that pay the money is the mob like us. We're the ones that, you know, we can tell instantly if something's imbalanced or not working right or whatever. Like, supposedly in Black Ops 2, they got a competitive sniper to come in and he could only pull off like a one point something KD. Fuck off. It's bollocks. He played your Treyarch, live with it. Um, my god, we're already seven minutes into this. Okay, the next thing they've said is a brand new game engine. Uh, not a rehash. A lot of the times they've said it's a new game engine, what have you, and it's not. Like the Infinity Ward 4 engine, or the IW4 engine, is actually just the IW3 engine with a lot of new tweaks, bells and whistles. That was the engine used for Modern Warfare 2, the IW4 engine. But what they've said this time is it is a whole new engine built from scratch. They've been developing this with next gen in mind. Uh, somewhat worries me because I don't know how that's going to work on current gen consoles or quite how. Uh, jury's still out. I'd like to see it. Um, but uh, Jesus, if Battlefield can make the Frostbite engine work and look phenomenal, fingers crossed, you know, Infinity War can do something similar. But kind of working more towards uh, the 60 frame per second. I would live with a little sacrifice in graphics if it kept that 60 frame per second up. So, that would be cool. There, but I've done a thing on the engine, so I'm not going to dwell on that. And I won't necessarily dwell on the next bit, because I don't know if I entirely agree with it, but uh, I'll kind of leave that out there as the point of discussion. Is Their last thing that it had to have was the pick 10 system. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, I could live with going back to the old system if it was implemented right. Um, the way I look at it is that the pick time system is nice, um, but is you know it's like anything. It doesn't bother me. The thing I would like to see more than the pick time system is the gun attachments. I think that's a far better way of doing. Um, doing these like hip firing and that sort of thing because it's easier for them to tweak individual guns. I much prefer that than the old system where you had, I don't know, uh, steady aim and that increased your hip fire. So yeah, that would be mine. I prefer the attachments to the pick 10. I can live without pick 10, but the attachments I really like. I like the way they can tweak it on the fly, such as they've done with the FAL and the PDW and the MSMC and so on and so forth. But uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see? What do you not want to see? Do you agree with game balance, uh, new engine, and hipfire? Hipfire? Muppet. <laughs> you know what I mean.
Laters.